Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where in this episode I'm going to try to get one of my planes in orbit around Kerbin. So, I have never really tried this before. I've tried with rockets when I used to play the game ages ago, but I've never tried getting a plane into orbit. So this might be slightly challenging, but it should make for a fun video nonetheless. So I've decided to take the design I had earlier for my butterfly type air vehicle, which worked quite well actually, even in high altitude it was quite fine and could maneuver quite well. So what I've done is I've taken the basic design here and what I've done is I've added an extra engine on the side here and instead of using the normal jet engines, I'm going to be using something called the rapier engines, which are meant to be a dual purpose rocket that can both function in high altitude, low altitude and in space. So, I'm hoping that with this much fuel, we can actually get to space. Let's give it a shot. So, we are joined here today with Jebediah Kerman as we prepare to launch off into space and hopefully get into a reasonable orbit. Now, I do know how getting into orbit works. I will admit I'm not very good at it. So, I mean, then again, I've only tried with spacecraft, so this will be interesting trying to use a plane. Let's take off now. One thing I will note though is that these engines don't seem to be very quick on actual ground. They're quite nice in air, but um let's see if we can pull up now. Oh, there we go. Oh look at that. Pulling up nicely. I did add air intake, even though I believe it's kind of pointless, but I've added it there nonetheless, just for the sake of having it. But what I'm gonna try and do, uh, I believe anyway, is try to stick to this axis here, this this one vertical line you see in the middle. Uh that, that, that way it's just easier for me to line up around the earth or Kerbin, as it's called in this game. So once we get a decent altitude, it will automatically switch over to using the other propellant, which will actually make it a little bit faster as well. I can manually switch it, I believe, if I right-click on it and go to, um, or is it say, uh, automatic switching or toggle mode. I can do that myself if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So, like I said, we're going to try and get up uh, as high as we can without using too much fuel, hopefully. I think a lot of fuel will be used in the outer atmosphere or in space, so that should be <laughs> that, that that that'll be something. At least I want to stay in orbit, just just even for like a little while. I think that's going to be my goal: is to stay in orbit for for a little while. This plane looks nice, though. I think re-entry would look kind of cool with it. Now, what I can do is I can actually start throttling down here, so I actually save fuel. Uh, as long as this goes up still, I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Uh, if it starts slowing down, then that's a bad thing. But as long as it's still going up, I can still throttle down, uh, which is which is nice, I think. It just saves fuel and keeps my speed up pretty pretty high. At least that's what I used to do with the rockets. I don't know if that's actually a thing you're meant to be doing, but uh, I just throttle down anyway, just so I can keep my speed up. Like right now, I'm still gaining speed, even though I'm only using half half thrust. But uh, we're getting up quite high already. Uh, we should start leveling out in, in a little bit, but I want to get out to at least 25k before I do that. And you can see that we're starting to form a orbit. Well, not really, but uh, it will in a second. Did that flick over? Oh, there we go. We've, flick, we've <laughs> flicked over. But we've now changed over, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start going out. Oh god, we're throwing up so damn quickly. Okay, start going out this way. Okay. We just, we just, want, we just want slight orbit. Just, just slight orbit. Before the fuel runs out, please. Wait, did we do we do it? Do I have orbit? Hang on, how far that is that up? Oh, that's out really, really far. But this is slightly far as well. <gasps> we did it! How much fuel do we have left? <laughs> we have next to no fuel at all. Oh my god, we, we did it. Yay! Oh, let's change the camera here so I can actually um get a better view. Uh, What was it? It's Chase that goes this way, isn't it? There we go. Oh yay, we're in space. I didn't expect to do this on my first try though. Normally I'd expect myself to mess it up completely badly. But then again, depending on how this stays, because if this goes down too far on my second come around, I think that might cause a fair bit of problems here. So what I could do is I could burn away on this bit here to kind of extend it out a bit. And why are these all going in? They're all going in quite badly. Is that a bad thing? I'm not fast forwarding or anything. But that is happening really, really quickly. I'm gonna have to burn outwards here. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> let's just uh let's just go out like that. Just so we get a little bit of a 
larger. Think that no, no, no. That's definitely not helping. Definitely not help. No, no. Oh god, did I just screw myself over? I screwed myself over. I don't know why I flung around then. God damn it. Coming in for rough landing then. I have to admit, the view from up here is absolutely lovely. I like it, even though I'm going to crash into the earth any second now. At least I can say I got to see it look pretty fast. I'm going to have to refine my design here and maybe add a few more thrusters. A little bit more fuel, I think, is what I need to do. I have a fuel tank here. Uh, I have them all connected up and just so the fuel can transfer. Does that have anything? I don't think I have any fuel at all left on this thing. Uh, we have 80... Three oxidized, so that's there. I think in here as well. Yeah, just so it's it's evenly spread out. I'd, I'd rather that than it be uneven. But uh, oh well, I think we're at the max altitude we'll ever reach, or at least where we were. We're coming back in now. But uh, we should be saying goodbye to the sun shortly too, as we're coming over to the dark side of Kerbin. So pretty. But for my first try. I think I didn't do too badly, even though the one thing that scared me was that this was going down. And I'm guessing that's because I was still in the gravitational pull of the Earth, or of Kerbin. So it was it was pulling me down uh, the more I'd go around. So I guess I, th I should have thrust a little bit more. I think if I had to control that situation better, I might have gotten into orbit better. So I might not even need more fuel. I just might need more, more skill. But um, let's fast forward here. I think the best thing about falling back into the atmosphere is doing stuff like this, because this just looks like- oh god, no. Don't, don't fall out. You were looking so beautiful before and majestic. Please, please keep up the majestic side of things. There we go. It, ju it just looks so nice on, the, on this aircraft. It looks like a phoenix. I should name this phoenix, but then phoenix is kind of like a, a curse, I guess, because that means I'm going to be re-entering quite, uh, quite a bit. But it does look so cool. So, sadly, there is nowhere but ocean for me to land. There is land over there, but I don't have any fuel to get over there, and I didn't bring any parachutes because I didn't think I'd actually need any. So I'm going to try try my hardest to do a soft landing in the water. Now, I don't think I can actually extract anyone from the water. I could probably recover the vessel if it actually survived, but I can't, um, can't actually bring a vehicle over here to recover him. So landing in the ocean should be fun, I think. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Jebediah. Your sacrifice will be missed. Wish I had some sort of fuel, though. I I think I need I need more fuel. I think that's what I need, like, and skill, fuel and skill. But uh, we're going down quite quickly now. Maybe I should point down and try to pull up then, like you do in a plane if you were stalled. That way you get um air speed and lift. You know, I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't have much lift. It does have some, actually, so it might be able to pull up from it. Uh, I think I'm doing it a little bit too early. I'm going to have to wait till I'm a little bit lower to the uh, to the water to try this. So what I'm going to try and do is get myself to fall down, get some speed, and then try to pull up. Like I don't know if that'll do anything in this game, but I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping to get some sort of slight lift here. Oh, actually, I am slowing down quite dramatically. Actually, look at that. Yeah, I can actually. I can. I can stop this just by the ocean if I have enough skill to do that. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's try to see if I can pull this off with absolutely no fuel, getting Jebediah to land nice and softly onto the ocean. Okay, let's go like that. Oh, that, my lights are working. By the way, I think that's what I can see right there is the lights. Two hundred meters. Oh, here we go. Trying to get oh that 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 light looks nice actually I think I don't mind having lights go backwards and forwards on this thing, but um about a hundred okay pull up now. There we go so we can we can glide down like a butterfly like its previous model. Oh yeah I don't know if I told told you the name of this thing it's actually called dragonfly not not butterfly so in case you were wondering as I slowly drown <laughs> Jebediah he's so happy though look at him at least he at least he will die happy. Okay, maybe, just just maybe, we can have the softest landing onto the ocean ever for Jebediah. Yes. Whew. You're welcome, Jebediah. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I did that. I destroyed the whole vehicle, but at least Jebediah lived, so that's, that's nice. 
So here we are, Jebediah Kerman and the Dragonfly, ready to take off yet again with the extra bit of fuel, some parachutes, and a few little lights, just in case we get a little dark and scared out there. So, Jebediah, will you want to get inside the plane now? Maybe? Okay, there we go. Way to go, Jeb. So I've added a little ladder here as well, so we can get in and out if he needs to. So, he can just grab one and climb in. Look at that, awesome. And then he can just get inside. Perfect. And lovely view of the interior tanks there. So we'll close it up. With our HUD on, of course. And we'll prepare for takeoff. Oh yeah, and the lights. Pretty damn cool. So, let's let's get going. So let's let's take off. And let's get back into orbit again. Come on, take off, please. Please take off. I have all my faith in you. <gasps> oh my god, that was so close to hitting that light then. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're going up. Yet again, I'm going to try saving a lot of my fuel uh, once I actually get to a decent speed here. I'm actually losing speed. There we go, we're gaining speed now. Yeah, I'm going to try to save as much fuel as I can. Um, going up here using these engines because these don't use as much as the others do. The others use a hell of a lot. So I'm going to have to try to conserve uh, the most fuel I have until I get up there. That's using some of the fuel. That's using some of its fuel. I just realized, is it actually using any of the oxidizer? I don't think it's using oxidizer because it's got actually using the air intake. I think that's actually kind of cool. So I can actually save... Oh no, wait, no, it wouldn't use oxidizer. Cause, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm good. Oh, there we go. Sudden change then. You can see this thing drains f uh, through fuel so damn quickly. So what I'm going to do is go on the map screen and use this to uh, try to get my course navigated out here. Actually, what I'll do, I'll cut engines. Oh, I'm almost out of fuel as it is. God damn it. I was going to say, I'll cut engines till about here, and then I'll thrust my way inwards. That way, I can get a decent orbit. At least, hopefully, a decent orbit. Yeah, that, that could work. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll have to do that. So, we have to get... Like, I think we have to... Hang on. Let's go to the map here. Angle ourselves down here, and we have to burn for a certain amount of time once we get into the node here. So, hopefully... <laughs> hopefully we have enough fuel to do that burn. Estimated burn of 16 seconds. So, if we can pull that off, we will get into a successful orbit. That'd be so awesome. Because I haven't actually done this with a plane before, so you can understand why I'm so excited. And and the fact that I've used the original model I used for the first episode of Kerbal Space Program, so I think that'd be really, really cool if I can get the Dragonfly into space. Well, it, it is into space right now, but I mean into orbit around the planet. I would love to take the Dragonfly to other planets, actually. I think that'd be kind of cool. It does function quite well, though. But, um, and look at the bird. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're coming up to the node any second now. And burn. There we go. Burn for 20 seconds. We should have enough fuel. We might overheat, but we should have enough fuel. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, camera, don't do that to me right now. Are we done? Please tell me we've gotten to some sort of orbit here. 56? 216? I don't care how weird that may look. I have, I've gotten into orbit, I think. Let me get rid of that maneuver there. So I can't believe it, I have actually done it. I've actually reached orbit. And as far as I can tell, despite that going down slightly, I don't think that's going to affect me too much, because once I get out to, out of here, I think I'll be okay. Even though my orbit is slightly going away. Why am I going... Am I thrusting? You've got to be kidding me. When did I start thrusting? 
Whoops, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to down burn here. I didn't think I was thrusting. No no down, da 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 down, 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 not up. Why am I thrusting further away? Okay, so I assumed that by facing this way and thrusting, I could then bring it back here. There we go. So we are now in orbit, and I think there's one thing you need to do when you are out in orbit, and that is get the Kerbin out and just have a look at it yourself. So here we are, floating in space. If you could turn your jetpack on, that'd be lovely. So there we are. We've now got the Dragonfly into a successful orbit around Kerbin. Look how cool that looks, kind of just drifting around. That is so nice. I'm so happy I actually managed to get up here. Obviously, all, all the tips you guys have given me have helped me so far, like the um, center of lift and mass and whatnot. Uh, you guys told me about the rapier engines and some other mods. Now, the reason why I haven't got any mods yet is because I want to experience the base game by itself first for a few episodes, and then I'll start installing mods and messing around with them as well. I just want to get the basics out of the way here. And I think getting a plane into orbit is something I can be happy about. So I thought to end the episode, I'll show you guys the sun rising over Kerbin in the distance there. I thought that would make an awesome shot for you guys to see. And um, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Let me know what I should do in the next few episodes. I think I might try getting a rocket into outer space and maybe even trying to go to the moon.